Hey, boys and girls and members, it's Mr. Jose Presado from LBJ High School. I want to thank you all for watching our videos as we continue to provide you guys ways to stay busy and stay active while at home during this time. We will continue to provide these videos throughout the rest of the, the school year and throughout the summer. I know that we are constantly thinking about you guys, wishing you guys the best, hoping that you guys are staying home, staying healthy, and most importantly, uh, staying safe with your families. Uh, we will continue to provide these videos, and I hope you guys keep tuning in. Along with these videos, we are also offering other resources through the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, our Club on the Go program, which operates in multiple sites, is a program in which we hand out bags full of resources and other activities, as well as food and other snacks for our members. Uh, these locations can be found at our website through the Boys and Girls Club of the Austin area. You can also find us on Instagram for the Boys and Girls Club page in which all this information is located. Please make sure you visit us, take advantage of these resources that are available to you, and we hope to see you guys drive by at one of our sites. The activities that we're presenting this week will focus around chalk. Chalk was an item that was available in our Club on the Go bags, but for those of you who don't have chalk, I will also show you a way to make chalk using household items. Now you'll be able to use this chalk throughout most of our activities for this week. So I hope that you guys are ready and let's get to it. In this activity, we will be doing some chalk art using construction paper. We are going to be making a spider in its spider web. Using the supplies we have here, we will be using some Elmer's glue, some tissue paper, some multicolored chalk, and some construction paper. Preferably you would like to use black construction paper, but any darker colored construction paper will work. For the activity we're going to be using like a darker green construction paper. So here we go. The first thing we're doing in this activity is we are going to draw a spider using our Elmer's glue. Make sure not to use too much of the glue so that way it settles in pretty, pretty well. Uh, you can add all, all the details that you guys want to your spider. I just mean a basic spider. And I'm going to wait for it to set. Once it sets, then we will start doing our rainbow chalk around it. Okay, now that the glue has set, you can kind of see the spider uh, shadow on our paper. Uh, on this paper, it didn't come out too dark, so I decided to do it on a blue paper. And on the blue paper, it came out a little darker. So we're going to use our blue paper. And this is where we're going to start putting our colorful chalk. We're going to start putting lines around it and then we will blend it in with our tissue paper. Okay, so with your chalk, you're going to start drawing around your spider, varying your colors around. And once you do this, we are going to use a tissue paper and blend in the chalk. Okay, so now using our tissue paper, you are going to gently start rubbing the chalk to blend it in with the paper all around okay so this is how it looks after you blend in your chalk with the piece of tissue paper you want to do it gently and you're going to have some excess chalk coming out of your picture but that's okay you can shake that off after now what you can do is with the white chalk you are going to put an x on your paper just make sure you don't put the x over the spider Okay, once you have placed your X across your picture with the same white chalk, you are going to start branching off some lines from the center to the outside. That way you can start creating your spider web. Okay, now that we added the extra lines, we can start making our spider web. Using your chalk, you're going to start drawing what we call frownies across the paper to make your web and you're going to do it all around the spider so now after you draw your lines for your spider web this is how your picture will look at this point you can dust off some of the excess chalk but our art picture is done i hope everybody enjoyed the video i hope everybody tries this at home Keep tuning into our videos as we have more activities for you to do. Thank you very much.